Hey guys, Flickify here, and today I've got a nice new mini-series that I'll be continuing until FIFA 16 comes out. Basically what we're going to be doing is we'll take a look at all the different positions and identifying some of the top FIFA 15 talents in career mode this year and then looking to see how they look at in FIFA 16. I'll be using your guys' input in the comment section as well as my own personal preference. And today we'll start with the goalkeepers. If this is something you guys want to continue to see, then let me know down in the comment section and I'll be moving on to defenders in the next episode. The first goalkeeper we're going to be taking a look at is Perrin and he started FIFA 15 with a 76 overall rating and an 85 potential. He's got pretty well rounded stats, 75 diving, 71 handling, 69 kicking, 83 reflexes, 57 speed and 74 positioning. But as you can see in FIFA 16 he got a nice little upgrade all the way to an 81 and that potential you see at the bottom is what I think his potential is going to be in FIFA 16. Of course we don't know how the growth system is going to be so all these potentials are going to be um, using last year's growth model as predictions uh, but his stats look really nice especially the 90 reflexes and that's what you want in a goalkeeper he looks like a very solid keeper and I think he's taken over the spot for the top Italian goalkeeper for this year Every year Jack Butlin seems to be a popular option in career mode, probably because he's one of the best young English goalkeepers, but he got a nice little upgrade this year. In FIFA 15 he started as a 72 rated player with some pretty nice stats. The 76 diving and 78 reflexes really do stand out and he had 84 potential, but this year he's a 74 rated card so almost a gold and his stats are even better, 77 diving and 81 reflexes. I'm going to predict he gets a little bit of a potential increase up to 85, uh, but I think he's going to be always another solid option, and again, I think he's going to be the most popular English choice for young players at the goalkeeper position. And Leno has to be the car that I'm most excited to use at the goalkeeper position for this coming year. He's just a very well-rounded keeper, and he doesn't really have a negative aspect. This year, he does have an 84 rating, and he's as solid as ever. 84 diving, 84 handling, 81 kicking, 85 reflexes, and 83 positioning. You can't go wrong there, and I think he's going to be a very solid option for the teams that have a bit more money to spend. I think he's going to be kind of expensive this year, but I think he's got to be one of the top Kurmo talents, uh, at least in terms of young players. Scuffetta is another very popular option in terms of goalkeepers in career mode and last year he had 87 potential so he was probably the number one young player to pick up in terms of career mode goalkeepers but this year he has a 72 rating and I think he's actually going to get a potential downgrade downgraded by one to an 86 because of course he is a year older and he's only gone up by one. Uh, but regardless, I still think he's going to be a very popular pickup because he now plays for a Serie B side. So I think you can maybe pick him up for a decreased price while still having a very solid player with a lot of potential. Uh, we'll see if he does manage to reach that potential this year, but he's going to be a very interesting option. To round out the episode, we're going to be taking a look at Oblock, and this guy's very underrated. Last year, he had a 77 rating for Atletico Madrid, and he's gotten a nice upgrade this year to an 81. I think this could be the year that he sticks out as one of the top options in the goalkeeper position for career mode. You know, he's still a very young player. I think he's only 22 or 23, and at an 81 rating, he's got a lot of potential in front of him. I think him and Leno are going to compete to be the two top goalkeepers in career mode. And I think he might even be able to beat out Leno, but it'll be very interesting. His stats don't really reflect his 81 overall rating. Just the handling, reflexes, and positioning is really a category as well for an 81 rated player. So I think Leno beat him out a little bit on that, but I still think he's going to be a very solid player and definitely one to check out. Well guys, that's going to wrap things up for the goalkeepers today. I hope you have enjoyed this little mini series. As we get into the other positions, I'll also be reflecting the skill moves and weak foot for those players. Not really a necessary thing to look at at goalkeepers. But if you did enjoy the episode today and want to see it more often, let me know with a like rating down below. Leave some comments for me to respond to. And until next time, this has been Flickify. I'll be talking to you all again soon.